Welcome back to Smith Coder and we are back with our video. In this video, we are going to learn what are the new feature in our Flutter 3.0 which has been released. So in 2018, Google released a Flutter with the aim to make a cross-platform software framework and which can be used to build application in our Android, iOS, Linux, Windows and Mac OS and even the web also. Few months back, we got the stable update for our Windows application. So now we got the stable support for Mac, Linux apps too. In the Mac OS, Flutter support both Intel and the app silicons natively. In the Linux support, it came via the collaboration with the Ubuntu, which is now using Flutter for the key new shell experiences, apps, the installer and the frame updates. So the next update which we have received, we got a new widget which can be used for menu support for the Mac OS and we can now create a platform render menu bar on that Mac OS using our platform menu bar widget which support the insertion of platform only menu and control over what appear in the Mac OS application menu. So in the right hand side, you can see the image and this is the menu which is we got in this visit. So the next support, we got the Firebase support. So Google Firebase is a pretty comprehensive set of the development tool. Its goal is to make apps development and the maintainers easier with the feature like detailed crash reporting, user analytics, authentication and the storage. So according to Google, 63% of the Flutter developer make use of Firebase in their application and the team has been trying to integrate Firebase and a Flutter as a result. So in this release, we have got that Firebase integration with a better support with the improved documentation and a tooling and the new widgets such as the Flutter Fire UI, which provide developer with a re reusable UI for the auth and the profile screens. In addition, Flutter Crashlytic plugin has been updated so that the developer can track the fatal errors also. So in our next update, we have got is the casual game toolkit so with the help of this we can make it easier for the casual game developer to use flutter and its hardware as accelerated graphics support to make small or you can say the medium sized games so google is now offering a casual game toolkit which provide a starter kit of the templates and the best practice along with the credit for the ads and the cloud service also they are providing so in our next update we got a fundamental improvement to our flutter 3 so flutter 3.0 offer improved performance better material design 3 3.0 support and our new dart language feature material design 3 is not only the fundamental improvement that arrived with our flutter 3 so it's now support Apple Silicon natively for both the development and the compile output also. Dart added the support for our Apple Silicon last year. So now Flutter can take advantage of it for the much faster compilation on M1 power devices. As for the Dart specific changes, Google say that it has introduced three new languages features which can help the developer. And these three features are enhance enumerations, name argument anywhere and a super constructor. And also they have added that executable signing for our iOS and all. Then we have our updated linter also and a new documentation they have provided. So this is all we got in our Flutter 3.0. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like, comment, share. I will come back soon with another awesome video. Thank you for watching the video.